about football developments. Very, very important. Yeah, talking about football development and um, variation of football, mm. um, f foot star. Um, and uh, that has what uh, that has the one that has been um, launched in Abuja. And mm. um, a lot of us do not know too much about this game, but the drivers of this initiative hope to get kids between 13 and 15, hope to get them uh, to participate um, in, in this sports event. Mm. We have uh, the Team Nigeria UK International, right. the ones that the brain behind uh, this idea, and um, they want to launch a football league uh, in Abuja. Like I said, it's mm. a variation uh, of the game, a smaller, Mm -hmm. a, a smaller um, <laughs> a smaller version of not the big field not the yeah. you know but I mean, it's a good one. It, it, it is a good yeah. one. And yeah. it's very popular elsewhere. Not you in know, Nigeria, In Brazil, yeah. in Spain, a few of these countries. And, and it's quite fantastic because yeah. you've got to try your hands on, on other things. And I've always said that if you have to talk about development, it has to be from a level where you can still catch the young kids and, and really give them a base, a foundation to be able to build something. Mm. And when you start something like this, it's great that they're starting with the kids, the 13-year-olds. Uh, I would prefer if they were younger, 10 years, mm. 9 years, 11 mm. years. It's quite, it's quite amazing because futsal around here is it's not really big, but elsewhere in Europe, in South America, it's a massive, massive game. And it's fantastic that they're building this initiative. I'm very pleased with that because that would be Certain, there certainly would be people who would be interested in this and I want to just have a crack at that. All right, so let's listen to the initiators. We're going to listen to David Doherty, uh, who is the CEO of uh, Team Nigeria UK International, talk about FUSTA and um, the reasons for launching this and uh, what they hope to achieve right here in Nigeria. This um, whole program is just around how we could add our own beats to it as Nigerians living outside the shores of Nigeria and also how we could um, improve the image of our, of our sports um, you know, across the globe. So um, our main um, target is to um, deep into schools, um, get both private and, and, and public schools involved um, and it's all inclusive, boys and girls. Uh, in a way whereby we can allow them to engage in a well-professional, um, well-structured um, um, league format. And um, we actually uh, try to use the same platform that the school um, games in the UK are using, and that's what we're trying to um, put in place in Nigeria. And there's nothing that is not doable um, if we have the right uh, team um, with, with us. And we're glad that we have people that are actually passionate around um, developing grassroots football, that are also passionate about giving back to the community as well. So, and that's why we all you know, came together to put together um, the, the organization called Team Nigeria UK and International. And we've been doing this for the past seven years in the UK, working day and night, you know, spending each of our own friends. Aside from the passion and the love, uh, really, I think we just thought, well, it's time for us to take it back home. And that's why we're here in Nigeria. We've been, we've been in Nigeria, and I think Abuja has been the first place. Abuja was the last, was the first place that we actually had um, an international friendly with the Nigerian um, on the 17 gold in the glade in 2015. All right, so that's it. Nothing left to be said. Wish them well. Hopefully, um, you know, the event will catch on, like, like, spread like wildfire, like they say, and the interest will be stimulated and among the kids. Exactly. Yeah, very important. Uh, it's going to start to kick off on March uh, the 8th, and um, it's going to involve public and private mm -hmm. uh, school, uh, schools as well. So no one has been left out yeah. uh, in this uh, uh, very laudable initiative.